that. Okay, what I wanted to show you here is on these part numbers, there's a way to interpret these things. The first, very first number here tells you what car or type that it was used on first. In this particular one, it's a three, so it was used on a type three. If it had been a Beetle, it would have been a type one, thereby number one. If it had been a two, it would have been a bus, type two, so forth. Um, the next ones then tell you which models and so forth that it was used on. This particular one's probably sedan, uh, square back, so forth. The center section of numbers tells you where in the car it was actually used. This one's a five, so that tells you it's a transmission part. The, um, <clears throat> if it had been a nine, it would have been an electrical part. If it had been a one, it would have been an uh, engine part, so forth. The last three numbers are actually part numbers. If it ends in an even number, it'd be for the right side. If it's an odd number, it's usually for the left side. Then if it has letters after the end of it, what that usually means is that's a revision. In other words, they've improved it. Every time they improve it, they do up the letter. An A would be the first improvement. A B would be the second improvement, all the way through the alphabet. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a Z, but uh, <laughs> it might exist out there somewhere. <laughs> So every time they 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 um, improve the part, advance the part, right? They would, they would add a number to it or a letter. A, a letter. letter to it. Now, if they improve it to the point where it will no longer replace the original, it gets a whole new part number. So as long as it's letters on the end, you know it will physically replace the original part. Okay.